Hey everybody, Sega Mantoni back here with another pickups video. What's up? How's it going? Hope everybody's enjoying their gaming. Got some sweet pickups here, I think. I'm going to be showing off right here. Very excited for a couple of games I'm going to show you here that are pretty awesome. Um, so, let's get started. First game I got is for the Sega Saturn. It's an import game. It is very hard to get this game in the States because you either get it incomplete with just a disc or you'll get the jewel case broken up. And that is Golden Axe the Duel for the uh, Sega Saturn. This is a great 2D fighting game. It is complete. It's very awesome and I highly recommend this game. If you're into Golden Axe like I am, I'm very into Golden Axe. This is a great game. Um, and it's it costs way more, <laughs> less expensive than if you were to find the original one, the American version here. It's the same thing, it's just some things are in Japanese, but it's an awesome game. The next game is such a kick-ass game. It is so awesome. And it is Doom for the Xbox One. Uh, thus far, this is one of the best graphical Dooms I've ever played. I'm a, a hardcore Doom fan. I beat it already. I beat it actually in two days with no problem. This is a great game. I have other the other Dooms on multiple systems like the Atari Jaguar, the Sega Saturn, um, the 32X. I even have a couple uh, on the uh, PlayStation One. PlayStation One ones they're okay, but uh, and I think one of the best ones older version. The one on the Sega Saturn is actually uh, a PC port and um, is really good for back then for a 32-bit system. But this game kicks ass. But there's one thing I gotta say about Doom. So many people like gripe and you know complain you know about remakes and you know they wonder if it's gonna be this or that. I mean <clears throat> You're not really getting much, guys, out of these newer systems. I, I hate to tell you that. I mean, you do get exclusive games. You do get newer games. It's taken a long, long time for Xbox One and the uh, PlayStation 4 to actually release, you know, exclusives. I mean, to be honest with you, um, the PlayStation 4, I mean, most of their exclusives are indie games. There is people that are into a lot of indie games, and that's cool. They just... just uh, released a new Uncharted um, game and some people like it and I have a friend that likes it and he yeah, well he, he said he likes it but he he doesn't like it he thought it was gonna be more than what he expected he said it's just like the rest of the other Uncharted games so in a way he said he was disappointed uh, in the game he said he still likes it but he, you know he said to him it wasn't worth 60 bucks so you know I said hey man you know, that's why there's forums. You need to go on the PS4 forums, you know, tell them what you didn't like about the game. And uh, I heard this is actually ended a series for them. I'm not really too much into uh, Uncharted. I have the Uncharted collection on a PS3, but um, to me, it's, it, the game is like Tomb Raider. You know, it's a little bit of a, uh, not a ripoff, but it has the same thing, some of the same things as Tomb Raider. I do, honestly, I like Tomb Raider better. Because I have played Uncharted 1, and uh, I'm going to play the rest of the collection whenever I get time or whatever. But um, a, a lot of people I talked to to have PS4s were kind of disappointed in it. But, you know, I said, hey, if you're not happy, take it back and sell it back or leave it in your collection. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, so, you, like I said, enjoy your games. Just enjoy what you have and, you know, be happy. Now the next game here I got for the 360, uh, I can't really say it, you guys can check it out here. Um, a girl that works at my exchange actually told me it's a pretty decent game, so I took her opinion and uh, actually bought it. It was only uh, 5 bucks, so I'm going to try it out. Um, it uses the Unreal Engine, so I'm going to give that a, a shot. Next game I got for the Xbox 360, it was 5 bucks. It is uh, Brothers in Arms Highway. Uh, Hell's Highway, and it says uh, Best Buy exclusive mini strategy guide included. So you know that's pretty cool, and I'm only going to pass that for five bucks. So it's good to add to my 360 collection. 
I heard about this game uh, on YouTube. A lot of people say that this game is pretty fun. And it is called, excuse me, Tornado Outbreak for the Xbox 360. So I'm going to give that a shot. That was uh, f uh, 6 bucks. It is complete and it is by Konami. So I'm going to give that, a, give that a try. The next one here I added to my collection is uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. That was $5. That's complete. Put that in my collection. I'll have one, two, and three. This next game here is for the PS3. I got it because a lot of people were talking and talking and talking about how great of a game this is. And it is The Last of Us. I started to play this game. And um, it's alright. I mean, it, it ha it's, it's, it, I don't know. It seems to me it's a little long. It's a little drawn out. I only shot like a couple zombies in the game already, but um, it's all right. You know, uh, it's not a bad game for them. For this to be a zombie game on a you know on a PS3, it's not it's not that bad. You know, I mean, I wouldn't choose it over Left 4 Dead or anything, but uh, it's 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 not a bad game, and it was worth uh, the money I paid for. I paid five bucks for it, so it wasn't it was worth the money. The next game I got here, I don't know how good it is. It's also for the PlayStation 3. It was only $2.50, and it's called Haze. So I'm going to give that a shot. Some Maybe not re, not right now, but, you know, pretty soon. It looks like a pretty decent shooter, you know, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to try it out, and I'm just going to pass up for the, the $2.50. <laughs> this game was $5. It's called Falling Skies of the Game. TNT drama. This game is... <sighs> this game's okay. It's 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 really not a great game, you know, but I wanted to add it in my collection, you know, because it's kind of cheesy, and I like cheesy video games. It is complete, but, uh, yeah. The next one I got here is, um, uh, Boundary, uh, Do Boundary Domain. It's a Sega game. It's for the Xbox uh, 360. Um, it is complete. I think I played this before. Uh, I had this before. And uh, I just wanted to add it to my collection. I can't remember if it was a digital download or what. But I wanted to have it in my collection. The next game here, it's not bad. It's a cheesy. It's a kind of a cheesy game. It's called Ride to Hell uh, Retribution. It's for the Xbox 360. Uh, it's it's actually not that it's actually not that bad, you know. It uses the Unreal Engine, and um, it's 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 actually pretty neat. You have to go ride places and revenge uh, your brother's death because somebody killed him or something like that. So it's not bad. Now this game is two dollars and fifty cents. It is called uh, Chrome Hounds. I owned this a long time ago and I traded it in uh, for some other games. It is complete. But for two fifty, I was gonna pass up getting it back in my collection. It's a uh, it's a mech game, and uh, I like mech games. My favorite mech game is Mech Assault. I wish they would bring that back. That would that would really be awesome. This game is called Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer, uh, Unbound. It was five dollars. I got this too at uh, my exchange. This is not a bad racer. I mean, it's okay. Namco Bandai, you know, they, they make okay racing games. Uh, the best racing game ever to, you know, for this gen is definitely Forza. I, I, there's no racing game out there that can touch Forza. That's just a fact. The next game is uh, Dark Sector. This was 250 I picked this up at my local exchange. It is complete. I played this a long time ago. I think I rented it. Uh, from that, I forgot, what's that name of that play, uh, the, uh, the one online, I forgot, Gamefly, yeah, I rented that. Now, these couple more games I have left here is, uh, I bought, this one was $5, it is, uh, Devil May Cry. Picked that up for, uh, the Xbox 360, it is complete. I'm gonna give that a shot, you know, uh, the Devil May Cry games, uh, they're okay, you know, but, uh, I... For the price, like I said, I, they're starting to get a lot of games that are five bucks and two fifty. So I'm buying them up and adding them to my collection. My 360 collection is like booming. It's getting hu really huge. It was already huge, but it's getting even bigger. The next one here is uh, Singularity for the uh, Xbox 360. 
uh, that is complete. I picked that up. Kind of a futuristic, uh, futuristic shooter. Not bad. Uh, this is a PlayStation 2 game. It's called uh, Jet X 2O. Uh, Metal Jesus actually reviewed this, so I took his opinion. I'm like, why not? I'll try it out. I'll pick it up for 250, and I'll try it out sometime. It do it doesn't have the uh, manual, but the disc is in excellent condition. Last but not least, this is, uh, I love this series. It was $2.50. It is Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed. And I picked that up for the Wii. Now I have other, uh, it is complete. I have other, uh, <clears throat> Destroy All Humans on my original Xbox. But, the, to tell you the truth, Wii games are, where I live, they're getting very cheap. There's a whole bunch for $2.50 and $5.00. And I go through them, and the ones I, you know, I want, I pick out and I grab. So, it's a good time to really, honestly, guys, to be collecting for the Xbox 360 right now and the Wii. The Wii is just done, you know. And you can really find great games that were on the Wii on the cheap. So, it's, it's you know, it's, uh, it's worth picking up, rather online or at your local game store. Well... That's all I have for now. I might be picking up some more games maybe later on. I might not be making another video as soon as as soon as I have been with games, but uh, I'll be picking up more games soon. Like remember, like I said, game, you know, be happy. Play the games you got. Don't always question all the time about you know these remakes and you know and I wonder if it's any good or and the only way you're going to wonder if it's any good is if you pick up the controller and you play it. You know, if you don't like it, trade it in. Or just keep it in your collection. You know, everybody's not going to like what they get. You know, I mean, commercials, you know, and advertisements, they show you really good clips of games. You're like, man, that, that looks awesome. That looks like that would be an awesome game. The only way you're going to find out, guys, is if you try it. You know, if you don't like it, sell it. Sell it to me. Well, Sega Man Tony out. I'll talk to you later.